boys and girls. This is Miss Medler. I teach art at Hunt Elementary and Shell Elementary, and I'm gonna be teaching your next lesson today. Today, you're going to make something called a radial design. And a radial design, the word radial means round, a radial design starts at a point in the middle and then it radiates out from that middle point. Kind of like a target or a spiral. A spiral is a radial design and hopefully you watched the video about the spiral jetty that's on the PowerPoint with this lesson. If you haven't yet, make sure you watch that. That's pretty interesting. Um, a radial design can be man-made, like a compass that tells you the directions. Or it can be something that you find in nature, like a spider web. There are lots and lots of radial designs in nature. So you can see it's starting from the center point and radiating out. Have you ever watched a spider build its web? It is pretty interesting to watch. And then something else you might find in nature that is a, a radial design. Some seashells like this that are a spiral that start in the middle and work their way out in a circular fashion. And then what we're gonna use, we're gonna use some different materials today that you may not have used before. We're gonna use something called fibers. And fibers come from nature originally, such as cotton, which is a plant or they can come from animals, like a sheep. It's wool, when you shave the wool, then that gets woven into material. So I wanna show you some different ideas that you might start with. What I like to do is kind of pretend like I'm on a scavenger hunt, go around my house and see what I can find. So some of the fibers I found inside my house and some of the fibers I found outside my house. And let me show you some of the things I came up with and then I wanna see what you come up with. So here are a few of the things I found. This is a really interesting kind of fabric, kind of stretchy, made up of fibers, the long skinny pieces. That's what a fiber is. I found some ribbon. I found some handmade paper that I cut into strips and you can kind of see the fibers in the paper as well. Found some string and some material that I cut to use for my design. I even found a mouse because I have cats and this is made out of fabric. So it's fibers. I could use that in my design if I wanted to. You can also go outside, find some plants. Plants are made out of fibers. And you can use things other than just fibers in your design if you want to. Some twigs, found this really cool acorn. Some kind of seed pod. And then this is kind of like the wool that comes off of a sheep. This is actually off my dog, but she's kind of like a sheep. She's got so much fur. So I just collected a lot of different things that I could use in my design. So you're gonna have a couple of different choices with this. You can gather these materials and then you can go look for a background. And what I mean by that is, where do you want to build this? You could maybe um, find some concrete, like your sidewalk to do it on, or maybe some dirt or the grass, or you could come inside and use a table or I found something kind of interesting that I want to use for my background today, for my design. And it is a roll that I got 
at the store a while back that I already had. And this is just shelf paper. It's what you put on a shelf inside a cabinet to line the shelf with. And I like the color of it. I like the texture, which is how it feels. So I decided I would use that for my background. So what I did was I took it and I cut it into a circle shape. Since we are doing a radial design, we're doing a circle. Okay. And the other option is if you didn't want to just build this on a different background and take a picture of it, because what happens is when you take a picture of something like this, then the picture becomes your artwork. So that's one choice. The other choice is you could find a piece of paper and glue everything to it to make your radial design if you wanted to. That is just gonna be up to you. I'd like to see you do more than one if you have the time and if you're having fun with this. And um, that way you could take lots of pictures and upload them and let, let us see what you come up with. So like I said, every part of this does not have to be fiber. If you can find some other cool things that you want to incorporate into your design, that's great. This is a rock, actually, that it was my, my mom had. I don't know where she got it, but I think it's pretty cool since it does have a hole in the middle. So I'm just going to use that. I'm going to use that for the center part of my design. I've also taken some uh, material, some ribbons, and I've already cut them into smaller pieces and different shapes that I think I wanna use in my design. I'm also thinking about color, what colors I wanna use. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now, I think I have all my materials together, so now I'm gonna start building my radial design using some of these things that I've come up with. So, I like this rock in the middle. I think I'm gonna start the next part with this handmade paper. So you might need some scissors as well for this project. And I'm just going to pick this up for a minute and slip these right underneath it. Like that. So basically, just have fun with this. See what you can come up with. See what kind of ideas you get from looking at the different objects that you found. And I just, I also want to really emphasize that before you start cutting anything, please make sure that you get permission from your parents before you cut anything up. And hopefully they can kind of work together on this with you and maybe you can give each other ideas. Okay, I like the way that looks. I think I'm going to add these little green, shiny kind of netting that I cut circles out of on top. I like the way that looks. And the thing is, if I don't glue this down, or even if I decide to later, it's kind of fun to move it around and play with it. So even if you decide you want to make something that you glue on a piece of paper, go ahead and try laying it out first to see how it looks, to get an idea of what's going to how your design's going to end up, and that way you can change it around if you don't like it. I love this bright material with different patterns and designs and colors, so I'm going to add this in here to my radial design. Yeah, I like that. really gives it a color, really pops. I found this really cool ribbon that's very sparkly in red, so I could lay it on top like this, or I could turn it, I kind of like it as a diamond or a rhombus. And if I don't like the way something looks, I just take it off and try something else. That's the fun part of this, it's just experimenting and discovering different things. I had a little gold ribbon that I also cut up, I think I'll add that on the red. And then, I decided I wanted something else to go in that hole right there for the center of my radial design. So I went outside, and again, don't do this without permission. And I went outside and I got something really pretty for the center of my radial design, and that is a flower. Because a flower 
is also a radial design. I think I'm gonna cut the stem on that a little bit so it'll sit in there straight. Yep, yeah, I like that. Yeah, because a flower also has a center and radiates out in a circular direction from the center. So there is my radial design, at least my first one. And what I'm gonna do now is take a picture of it, make sure that I really hold my camera over the center of it, hold it still, and take a good picture of it, maybe more than one, and then decide which one I like best. And then start over, try something new, try a different design, different colors, different materials. Take as many pictures as you can and let, uh, let us see what you come up with. And I hope you have a lot of fun with this project. I had fun with it. I'm going to do some more. So happy creating. Bye-bye.